Hey guys, welcome back to some more StarCraft Brood War Remastered. We're going into the bonus mission, the mission between levels 9 and 10. I'll show you how to access that without actually having to play level 9 properly. It's really, really simple. All you have to do is enter cheat codes, because of course you do. Uh, so we are going to type in uh, power overwhelming, which makes us invincible. We're going to type in uh, show me the money, which gives us 10,000 cash and stuff. We're going to type in food, uh, food for thought, which means that we don't have to worry about overlords. And we're going to type in operation qual, which lets everything be built instantaneously. Then we're going to go over here, build a bunch of hatcheries because, you know, why not? And take these hatcheries and set their rally point over there in the middle of the enemy base. You're going to come on more and more and more. And we're going to go like that. And then we're going to take this great aspire and we're going to get all those upgrades. Uh, so we're going to have control 1, control 2, control 3, control 4, control 5, control 6. We're going to set all of their rally points in there. And then we're just going to go mutalisks. Like that. It's like that, you know, real simple. And we're just going to have everything that we, we got and just attack move over there because, you know, like it doesn't matter really um more hatcheries because why not we control seven and we can just go uh mutalisks 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 and that that's that's it that's all you've got to do to just win this with no uh problems at all just do that look it's all it's all good uh let's get some more money just for funsies and I'm going to go ahead and speed through all this to just show you how to do it. Well, just get to the next mission. Uh, the one thing I will say is make sure that before the um, the final cutscene where you know all the stuff happens right here, make sure that you disable Power Overwhelming because otherwise uh, this won't be able to be destroyed. Look, bonus level activated. Oh, who would have thunk it? Uh, so... The, I believe in the original version of Brood War, you used to be able to just skip all that with the win level cheat, and then you could just jump into that mission, type that in, and straight away you were into the bonus mission. But I think uh, that's been taken out, so you have to. Yeah, uh, you actually have to do that. Not that it matters at all, because you want to go into the bonus mission just for the cool stuff. Uncharacteristically true to her word, Kerrigan allowed Zeratul and a few of his brethren to leave the planet Char with their lives. These weary, battered Protoss set their course to the planet Shakurus with the hopes of finding their comrade Artanis and any other survivors of Kerrigan's wrath. This is one of the more interesting missions in, you know, story-wise. Zeratul, our sensors have detected a small Terran compound near the source of the energy signatures. Understood. I'll look into this matter myself. Woo! Zeratul and a bunch of guys. So, one, two, three, and four. So let's have two and... Three and four, and Zeratul run it off. 
you address me, so be it. And Taro Okay, so it's dead, and dead, and dead, and then like that, and we can get control of those tanks. Nice. Unfortunately, they have shot each other, and you can take over that. Oh, isn't this lovely? So, and you are going to be good as well. Receiving headquarters. Do. Okay, so you're going to on siege, and you're going to as well. Now, here. And bang! Very nice. Very useful. You're going to spot that for us, it's good. And there is another tank here. So let's have... Zeratul, run off up there. You. Um. He, just got, he got blinded. What use is a blind science vessel? Templar, there is a Protoss in this cell. Danger. Test subject 23 is suffering from psychic feedback. Pylon crystals at critical stage. Cell meltdown imminent. Damn. The Terrans are having more trouble utilizing pylons than I thought. And I still have no clue as to why they had imprisoned that Protoss within the cell. Okay, so we have this drastically reduced vision. Ugh. Okay, okay. We can... We can deal with this. Is there a tool? I do this for stupid I medic. Yeah, you better run. Okay. You're going to mind control that dude. And there we go. Yes, Some hours now. You're going to unseed and you're going to run off up here. Oh. Okay, nope, there. They are on their way. You're gonna run. Oh dear, that's a bunch of marines. Run! Run, run, run. Uh, you can go die because you're blind and I don't like you. Wait. Um, radiate. Radiate. You. Aha! You did something. Okay. So now, these tanks are be quite useful. That guy getting blinded really annoys me. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna come up. Here. No, you're gonna. Get, get, get. Siege. Will be that one. Okay, and you're going to be ready for Maelstrom in case those Marines come in and attack us. I'll hold them in place. Actually, no, it's not so bad. Brilliant! Oh, uh, hello. Uh, mind control. Would be nice. There we go. Thank you for that. And you guys can come up. And where's Zeratul at? I'm sure. Oh, here okay, we have the drones too. There he is. That's it. Zeratul number one, so we never forget him again. I do this for Iron. It will be done. So you can just destroy these. A bit of fun. It will be yes. done. Oh, have a look. Taro As I suspected, there are more spacious cells here. There is a Protoss within this cell as well. Maybe this computer terminal can give me the answers I seek. Test subject 25 in cryo hibernation. Neuroscan compiling data. DNA code computed and archived. Psionic emanations minimal. The audacity of these Terrans confounds me. If they seek to know more about Protoss warriors, I will give them a first-hand lesson. Woo! Well, so great, because there's something cool inside. Are you guys are going to on siege? Oh, you've been quite damaged, haven't you? Oh, 
up. So, just in case. Oh, sorry, I've got stuff on my desk which is making clicky clacky noises. Yeah. That goes. Can we draw anyone else out? Oh, that's a couple marines. To do. Come along, sir. Get ready with your Sinex Storm. And. We... No, I don't even need it. Too good. Boom. <sighs> okay. You guys can get back into tank mode. You guys can head on up. And you can I do this for yes, sir. mode. Make it happen. Boom. Boom. Yeah, that was like that's a Terran right there. Be careful of those. Now you mind control that for me so they're not gonna be dropping that. Yeah. They're gonna be dropping these guys on me. Hmm. Okay. Zeratul gonna head on up there. You guys gonna do Unsiege. Boop. And... Oh, okay. You guys gonna... Siege back up down here. Nice and well defended. Let's just read that first. Cool. Oh wow, your shields are just decimated, aren't they? Yeah, you'll get through it eventually. Yay, we have an Archon now. Cool. Alright, now you. Over here. You're going to Sonic Storm there. Oh, wait. Sonic Storm there. Yeah. Watch his kills. Five. Woo! You have some vision up here. You're going to go Sonic Storm. Yeah. Yay! Nine kills. You are going to radiate you. That uh, should be two dead marines. Cool. Commencing. You're going to come over here and you're going to radiate. Yeah. Another two dead marines, and then you guys kill him, and you can go attack move down there. Receiving transmission. Derp, derp, derp. Take it slow. Identify target. Move it. You guys yes, can Move it. Here Proceed. and siege. Mm, you can do that. What's this? There is a circling in this tank. What is going on here? Test subject 27 in cryohibernation. Neuroscan completed and archived. DNA code computed and archived. Gene splicing between test subjects 25 and 27 completed. Experiment 2273 progressing. By the gods, this can't be happening. And you can attack that. You can there to help that. Yeah, you tanks can do your thing. Call up you guys. There. Uh, go get some vision for us. Oh, hey, look, we got another Templar, and there was also some Zerglings in there, but they're dead now. Do do do. Ursodon. I wonder if I could, I could absolutely mind control one of those Ursodons for no good reason. Okay, so the tank's going there. Go like that. You guys come down, because I have a plan for you. You can fly down there. There's that. 
close. Do. Um, what am I missing? Am I missing anything? Uh, I don't think so. I think I'm good. Okay. Hang on, we're in for some chops. Go ahead, HQ. up. Hang on, we're in for some chops. Do. transit HQ. Buckle up. Strap yourself in. There's a. Anyone? No. Okay. Well. You. So to radiate. Dude. Bam. Aha! Yeah, that's right. Commencing. Mine. Attack formation. Mine. Receiving headquarters. Should be able to lure these guys out one at a time and take them over. There we go. So they do have a couple of battle cruisers. But that should not be a problem. We can just blew them out. That's right. No? I'm not gonna... Come on. Look, I'm right here. Ooh, aren't I a tasty target? Ooh. Ooh, tastiest target. The tastiest target. The tastiest target mine. Kill that. And... Mine. Frequencies open. That's good. Take That's very, slow. very useful. Okay. So now we can start whittling away at this base. Isn't that great? All and you can fall back as soon as you do that because there's going to be a bunch of Marines out of your way. Yeah, see? Good day, Commander. Get away! Okay, we have two guys ready to take stuff over. That's good. Okay. Go ahead. We have these guys ready to scout out for us. Coordinates received. Attack formation. Coordinates okay, received. So they have tank, tank, Attack tank, formation. which is unfortunate for us, but it's okay. We got this science vessel, which is he's quite damaged, but he'll be very useful because we can fly him over. Excellent. And then be like, hey, look at ghosts. The radiate. Quite useful. Then we can take you and drop ship. In transit, HQ. Uh, transit you guys, before we do anything, we're gonna fly up here and cloak. And there you are. Yeah, okay, we can get rid of that now. Oh no, it's been blinded. What do you freaking do? Can we? I think we can burn through that, unfortunately. Alright, let's, uh, let's send a battle cruiser up there to help out. Go ahead, okay, so you're going to... There. In, yeah, they can't They can't burn through that, I guess, when her energy disappears, maybe. Input I'm going to fly up. Let's roll. I'm going to... Down like so. Strap you're going to in, unload... <laughs> As you can. There we go. Damn. Uh, they could see him. That sucks. I was hoping I'd be able to mind control him from a safe distance, but it looks like we're gonna have to find Receiving another way to do this, which is with battle cruisers. Yay. Okay. Uh, battle cruiser. Battle cruiser. Battle cruiser. Uh, you are going to Yamato gun. Uh, you. And you are going to Yamato gun. You. And you. I'm going to Yamato gun. You. There you go. And look at their base defenses just melt away. You guys can fly up and get rid of him. You guys can fly off now. And you guys can fly off. I'm going to bait this last battle cruiser. Now over here, 
where he can be my control. Yeah. Battle cruisers. All right, you might have done that. Good day, Commander. frequencies open. You can. What are we gonna do with you? Let's get some vision somewhere, shall we? Let's take you. Good for something, aren't you? Finally. Okay. I mean, we could probably just All run in and kill them now, but where are they are? Open. You... I want, Good day, I want a Yamato gun them. Ah, oh, well. Let's just... In transit, HQ. Oh. Nope, get back, get back! Ah. Destination. In transit, HQ. Let's get vision. Hang on, we're in for there we go. Nope. Okay, as soon as that guy comes into view again, he's mine. Can you guys not attack the uh, bunker over there? Yeah, that goes. Do. Oh, that's annoying. Good day, Commander. Bang. And you mod a gun. Good day, Commander. Or cannon. Was it cannon or gun? Yeah, gun. Brilliant. Got to get the vernacular right there, guys. And let's you mod a gun that. And yeah, we could go. Let's just go. Let's do it. Dude, was there, a, there was another High Templar, wasn't there? There was. I know there was. What did I... Oh, there he is. I'm an Archon. Um, excuse me, sir. Come on. And, yeah, we're done here. We can just have... Um, where is he? Where's Zeratul? There he is. Walk on in. Transmit orders. Yep. Hey, he's done. And we're good. Reporting in. Here he comes. To save the day. I've never seen a creature like this before. Test subject 29 classified. Protoss Zerg hybrid in perfect cryo hibernation. Psionic emanations minimal. No. Magnificent, isn't it? What? Who are you? I've had many names throughout the millennia, young prodigal. You would know me best as Samir Guran. Kerrigan's card sword. Is this part of her twisted schemes? No. Young Kerrigan could not have engineered this grand experiment. Although her rebirth into this Zerg swarm has sped up my progress, I can assure you that this endeavor is quite beyond her narrow understanding. If you are not her pawn, then what are you? I am a servant of a far greater power. A power that has slept for countless ages, and is reflected in the creature within that cell. 
Have you any conception of what you've created here? Do you have any idea what this this hybrid is capable of? Of course I do. This creature is the completion of a cycle. Its role in the cosmic order was preordained when the stars were young. Behold the culmination of your history. All I behold is an abomination. Your violence, young prodigal, is typical, as is your inability to comprehend the greater scheme of things. You can destroy all of the specimens here. It will do you no good. For I have seen it the hybrid on many, many worlds. You will never find them all before they awaken. And when they do, your universe will be changed. Forever. Right, there we go, guys. That's uh, that's the little sort of hidden story nugget in Brood War, which had people being like, oh, where's uh, StarCraft 2, guys? Come on, StarCraft 2, I want it. For uh, quite a while, and then StarCraft 2 came along and, you know, StarCraft 2 happened. Anyway, so there's a little, little text bit afterwards. I'm going to read that to you, and then I'll see you guys next time. Left with the unsettling knowledge of the hybrid, Zeratul returned to his ship and left the Dark Moon behind. Unable to explain his numbing discovery to his companions, he could only sit in fear for the future of the universe.